Rainforest Babies by Kathy Darling. Tropical Rainforests of the World. The rainforests are Earth's giant nursery. You can find new babies at any time of the year. Half of all living things on the planet are found in the rainforests. All the tropical rainforests are alike, hot, wet, and green. But each one has animals and plants that belong to it alone. Come and see what is hatching from the eggs and peeking out of the nests. The rainforests are home to some of the most interesting babies you will ever meet. Elephant. Baby name, calf. Birth weight, 300 pounds. Favorite food, babies drink milk. Adults eat leaves and grass. Parent care. Baby stays with mother for 10 or more years in a herd of related females. The biggest animal in the rainforest is the elephant. The biggest baby is the elephant calf. 300 pounds at birth, it will become a thousand pound baby in less than two years. That elephant milk is powerful stuff. The elephant baby sucks on its trunk just as a human baby sucks on its thumb. Trunks are good for other things too. Sniffing, putting food and water into the mouth, and playing with sticks and leaves. This calf is part of a big family called a herd. There are lots of other elephant babies in the herd. But this calf is only two weeks old and still too little to play with the other babies. Tiger. Baby name, cub. Birth weight, two pounds. Favorite food, babies drink milk, adults eat meat. Parent care, cubs stay with mother for two years. Father does not help. This cute little tiger cub will grow up to be a hundred times bigger than the kitty in your house. It will do a lot of the same things a house cat does, but it will not be able to purr. The tiger is one of the four who can roar. Three of the roaring cats, the tigers, the leopards, and the jaguars, live in rainforests. Lions, the fourth roarer, sometimes live in forests, but never in rainforests. Macaw, baby name, chick, called a fledgling when it can fly. Birth weight, one ounce. Favorite food, partly digested fruit and seeds brought by parents. Parent care, both mother and father feed, protect, and teach the babies for two or three years. Mother and father macaw have the most beautiful feathers in the forest, but their chicks have none at all. Only for a few days, though. Then fluffy baby feathers called down cover their wrinkly skin. This two-week-old Hans macaw, right, is warm in its down coat, but it can't fly with this kind of feather. Down is not waterproof either, so the baby macaw won't go far from the nest hole. At nine weeks, a blue and gold macaw baby already has most of the bright, strong feathers it will need to fly away. But the fledgling is in no hurry to leave its loving parents. Young macaws stay with their family for two or three years. Frog. Baby name. Tadpole when young. Froglet when older. Birth size. No bigger than a raisin. Favorite food. Insects. Ants. Tiny water animals. Parent care. Tadpoles are fed by both parents. Look, but don't touch. People who live in the rainforest know to keep away from these beautiful baby frogs. The golden froglets are small, but they are able to take care of themselves. 
If danger comes, a poison oozes out of their skin. This sweat is very deadly. Bright gold is one of the warning colors that poison frogs use. Here are some of the bright patterns they use to say, danger, keep away. Kangaroo, baby name, Joey, birth weight, about the same as a grain of rice. Favorite food, babies drink milk, adults eat leaves and grass. Parent care, mother carries baby in pouch, father does not help. Surprise, there are kangaroos in rainforests. These red-legged patamelons live on the ground. Other kinds hop around in the treetops. All baby kangaroos have the same name. When they are carried in mother's pouch, both boy and girl babies are called Joey. This little one is too big for the pouch, but it will keep close to its mother's side for protection. Don't let mom's sweet face fool you. She can deliver a kick that would make a karate champion proud. Sugar glider. Birth weight less than a grain of rice. Favorite food. Babies drink only milk for the first 100 days. Adults prefer tree sap and insects. Parent care. Mother keeps babies in pouch for 70 days and then feeds them in nest for another month. Although gliders live in a colony and share a nest, the mother does all the child raising chores. The sugar glider jumps out of trees without a parachute and at night. Its target is not the ground but a nearby tree. It leaps from tree to tree to get the sweet sap. Although it looks like a flying squirrel, the sugar glider is not even a close relative. It is a marsupial, an animal with a pouch. Only as big as a mouse, this baby, four weeks out of the pouch, is already a fearless leaper.